Shooting at golden hour is by far my favorite time of day to photograph. You get those beautiful golden tones and lots of contrast. But sometimes when you head back to your studio, you start editing your photos, they just don't look as good as reality. But why is that? Well, it's because your photo is missing one crucial element. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can add that element back in using Lightroom. And I'm gonna start right now. Now that one crucial element that I think is missing from all photos is that natural glow. Because lenses are made of glass and obviously our eyes aren't, they flare differently and they cause haze where you wouldn't necessarily get it with your eyes. So how can we add that naturally back into our photo without making our photo look basically rubbish? So here's a photo that I've taken very recently in London at sunset, and it suffers from the thing that we've been talking about. Now, obviously, if I go to my basics panel and I go to where my dehaze is, I've actually added some in, but if I remove it, it just, it removes that lovely contrast that we had. And it's the same situation if we tried it with clarity. If I reduce clarity, it just makes the photo look soft and it just doesn't work really well. I'm really happy with the photo, but I want to add in that natural glow. Well, instead of just using the basics panel, because it's just not gonna work, what we're gonna do is go out of the basics panel and head over to masking. And there's two masks that I want to create for this photo. The first one is that glow effect. So you need to look at your photo, work out where the bright parts are and where the dark parts are, aka highlights and shadows. And we want to emphasize that in our photo. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose a radial gradient. Now obviously my sunset is on the left hand side, so I'm gonna go ahead and select that like so and choose a mask with a 100% feather, as you can see. Now, obviously, if you just simply added in exposure, it just doesn't really work. And it's the same situation with texture clarity and dehaze. So we'll need to add an additional step. So what I'll do is I'll quickly show you how this works. So with our exposure, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase that up for around about half a stop. But then I'm gonna go down to texture clarity and dehaze and go for minus 20, minus 20 and minus 20. Now that already is looking a lot better, but there's one more step to make it look realistic. So all I need to do is go to where our mask is. What I'm gonna quickly do is just name this one so I don't get lost. This is my Brighton mask, so name that like so. I'm going to subtract this from the shadows. So we've got a radial gradient. I'm going to basically remove it from the shadow regions in that area of our photo. So I'm gonna go ahead and click subtract. I'm gonna to go to luminance range. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the shadow part of that area. So I'm gonna go ahead and click. So what this will do is it will add that glow but only to the highlight regions within that area. And that is what makes this particular glow effect look a lot more realistic. So what I'm gonna do is open it up all the way and make it very nice and subtle. Now, once that's, uh, you've actually selected that area, you can be a little bit more experimental with your sliders. So you can increase them, decrease them, and see what works for your image. Now, of course, because we brightened an area, to make sure that our exposure is balanced throughout our image, we also want to darken another area as well. Again, you brighten one area, you wanna darken it, so your exposure basically doesn't really change. So what I'm gonna do is create a new mask. I'm now gonna go down to linear gradient, and I'm basically just going to select the water here, predominantly where the darker part is of my photo. And then I'm simply gonna to go to my exposure here and darken it like so. So I might darken it by basically one entire stop, makes it nice and easy. And what I can do is quickly show you the before and after of just the masks. So I'll do the before and after. Now that looks a lot more realistic and I'm a lot happier with that glow, all thanks to using two masks inside Lightroom. Here is the before and here is the after. Thank you to all of my YouTube members that are currently supporting the channel. If you guys want to support the channel and get some awesome perks, including free Lightroom presets like the ones that you can see on screen, and make sure to head to the link in the description. I've been James for Photo Fever, and I'll catch you guys next week.